name's Noel. I'm a psychotherapist. And um, where am I? Utah. Utah. Whereabouts in Utah are we? Well, you're in Orem, but close to Sundance. It's close to Sundance, where that amazing film festival is on. That's right. Do you go to that? You must do. Yeah, for many years. What do you do here? Where are we? What is this place? You know, this is this is home. Wow. First, first of all, first and foremost, it's home, I guess. But um, we're Cirque Lodge, yeah. we're a drug and alcohol treatment facility that's nestled in the heart of the, what I like to call home. Yeah. So. That's really important. You're coming home. You're not coming to a treatment center. I mean, it is a treatment center, but you're coming home to people who are really passionate about this place and um, and love it. Very much. Very and that love is really available. I mean, I really get a sense of that when I come here, that it's really available for you to just step into and um, be uh, embraced into, which is um, really, really special. Um, you were telling me about your program here, and you had an interesting way of describing it. And you talked about the founders, but you used um, the triangle. What was that and the word you used? Well, I... I I guess I probably <laughs> did I do a triangle. You did. I probably, I, you know, I talked about the trifecta of care, probably. That's it. That's what I like to, to what relate What is that? To. Tell me about that. You know, um, we talked, I probably was sharing with you how it came to about, came about and how hmm. the founders um, decided to to um, start Circle Lodge. And why did they decide to start it? Would you mind telling me? You know, I, I had said, you know, initially the founders owned a, a hair school. Yeah. And um, they came from a long line of addiction in their home. Ah. And it had wrecked havoc in their personal lives and in their extended lives. <laughs> and they fortunately had some loved ones that had found recovery and and some that had passed away from it. Hmm. And that never ended up having um, the fortune of finding a program or getting help. And the loved one that actually instigated... Um, them starting Cirque mm. um, had been in and out of multiple wilderness programs and treatment facilities and was misdiagnosed with some, um, um, I guess, was just misdiagnosed yeah. uh, with some mental illness that wasn't yeah. appropriately, yeah. you know. Which is found. very often happens to people. Yeah, in, in at addiction. such a young yeah. age. Yeah, and, yeah. and they decided they, instead of, you know, pushing, pushing addiction or mental illness under the rug, especially in a very... Um, you know, religiously dominant area, yeah. such as the area that we live in, yeah. where a lot of people would have just, you know, slid it under the rug or yeah. called it a moral issue. Yeah. Um, the, the owners, which are a husband and wife, decided to be proactive and said, we're going to do something about this yeah. and we're going to do it well. Yeah. And that's where I um, think they they put together what I think is a masterpiece. Yeah. And they decided they wanted to have an incredible clinical component. Yeah. They wanted to have um, an experiential component, mm. which gets people out. It gets people active. Yeah. It's cognitive therapy in motion. Yeah. And a very strong 12-step component, yeah. which if you believe in a power greater than yourself, what greater place to, to do that than the mountains? Yeah, exactly. You're going to find so, something here. You're going to find, definitely find something. And that was sort of, we've been talking about that, how we get people out into nature and then they can discover something, uh, something deep within themselves which resonates. Sure. With something that is uh, just available in abundance here, which is, and that sense of abundance and, and beauty and nature is, is very healing in itself. One of the things that struck me about your story, we were talking about this um, just before, um, was this idea that the people who founded this were not experts, except they were, in terms of their own experience. And what they understood was there was a lack in terms of provision out there. Yeah. And they, they wanted to meet that gap. Uh, and that's where that model came from, the triangle model, isn't it? Right. Bring in every element. And um, there's a, we have a saying in the UK, and you don't know this, I haven't explained this to you, but we have a saying that there's a, we don't really know what works for that individual. We know the range of things that could work. And so to make it possible for that individual, give, we give them the fullest range of things possible. And then we've got a fighting chance of getting them into that recovery. And it seems to me that that's what you do here. Yeah. And, and uh, no standing on ceremony, as we say, no sort of standing on what the rest of the world says. It's let's find out what's gonna work. Yeah. And then give that to people. You know, and if if it's not working, you, I guess you would then reinvent it, wouldn't you? You sure. go, okay, it's not working. Let's find something else to add into it. That I think uh, is going to get you well, and that's what makes a place like this special. 
and people aren't hiding behind labels and professions. They're actually here to bring people home. On an even playing field. Yeah, absolutely. No, I have six kids at home. I don't know if you know that. And um, I say all the time to them as we're encouraging them to find sports and find something mm. to keep them active. Mm. So um, pick one. Pick something, whether it be football, dance, yeah. cheerleading. Yeah. Pick something to keep you active. Mm. And right now, the sky's the limit for my kids. Yeah. And I genuinely feel that about our residents here as well. Mm. We have given them a plethora of opportunities to yeah. choose from here. A massive pool, yeah. whether it be hiking, yoga, horses, yeah. um, art therapy. Um, we're giving them some cognitive behavioral skills to choose yeah. from. Yeah. Pick one. Yeah. Choose something to connect to, yeah. to emotionally regulate yourself. Yes. Fitness, CrossFit. Yeah. Choose some skill that you can connect to yeah. that's going to help you emotionally regulate when you get home. Yeah. And I think that's what you're saying. That's right. And the truth is at Circle Lodge, we provide that for you. Yeah. Fly fishing, rafting. Yeah. Do we need all of those things to get sober? I don't know, mm. but do you have the option here? Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, right. That's and that's right. how the owners have seen that. Yeah. They want to give you every possible opportunity yeah. Yeah. to get sober. Yeah. Yeah. They want that for you. Yeah. Let us provide that for yeah. you. Whether it be EMDR, DVT, CBT, whatever cognitive behavior, behavioral therapy technique we might mm. use, we want to have the best techniques, the best yeah. modalities to, to ensure that you're going to have a great yeah. experience here. And that absolutely fits with the evidence as well. It's not just a personal opinion. It's what works. I know that from sort of looking at the evidence. Um, I, I'm going to finish there and just say thank you for your welcome. I felt at home here. Um, it's an absolutely extraordinary place. And what's extraordinary for me is I, I come around the world. I've driven from Florida to Utah. Um, and I found a place that absolutely resonates with everything that I believe in. Um, and, and absolutely incredible so if you choose to come here, we'll put all the details of how you can contact these people on the website. Um, you will feel right at home. Um, even though it's in Utah and you're in London, um, you will feel right at home here. I'm absolutely promising you that. Thanks so much, and I'll see you again another time. Bye-bye.